Hi everybody! Today's video is going to be a book read and we're going to be reading Lucky Tucker by Leslie McGurk because today is St. Patrick's Day and so what better way to do some speech therapy if not with a book on St. Patrick's Day. See you soon! Okay, so today's book is called Lucky Tucker, and the author is Leslie McGurk. And so if you look at this book, who do you think Lucky Tucker is? Do you think it's the leprechaun? Or do you think it is the white dog? Let's open the book and find out. So my title page in the book has Lucky Tucker. See Lucky? So Lucky is a dog. And what do you think Lucky is laying in right now? If you look really carefully and you see Lucky, he is on top of some shamrocks it looks like. Let's see. And in fact, if you look real quickly, I have a shamrock right here on my shirt. Do you see that? So that's a shamrock. That's a big sign of St. Patrick's Day. When, Luck when Tucker woke up on St. Patrick's Day, he got off on the wrong paw. First, he had to go for a walk in the rain before breakfast. Then his favorite squeaky toy got stuck under the couch. Just when he thought it couldn't get any worse, a black cat hissed at him. My luck needs to change, thought Tucker. What if I roll in this bed of clovers? We called them shamrocks. This bed of clovers, maybe their luck will rub off on me. Little did he know that he was being watched by a leprechaun. You just rolled in my bed of four-leaf clovers, the leprechaun said. Now you'll be the luckiest dog around. And off he ran. Tucker chased after the leprechaun, but he got sidetracked when he saw a boy licking an ice cream cone. The top scoop was about to fall off. Tucker made the catch. Wow, what a lucky dog, the boy said. By now the leprechaun had disappeared. So Tucker tried to go to the dog park. Today, he was his lucky day. He got to play and wrestle with all his best friends. On his way home, Tucker passed by the bakery that sold homemade dog biscuits. Aren't you a lucky dog, Tucker? I've got a peanut butter shamrock, a chicken flavored pot of gold, and a cheese flavored horseshoe just for you. When Tucker arrived home, the mailman was delivering a big box. You are the luckiest dog I know, said the mailman, because this box is for you. Tucker tore open the box and jumped inside. His owner said, Lucky Tucker, you were supposed to have a bath tonight, but let's play with your new toys instead. Finally, it was time for Tucker to go to bed. It was his luckiest day ever. He was already dreaming about the next St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so now that we've read the book, we're going to go back and look at it, and we're going to answer some questions about the book. And I'm hoping that your mom and your dad or your brothers or your sisters or your grandparents, somebody is around and that they can help you find the answers in the book. So let's take another look inside the book. Now, do you see Lucky Tucker there? These are clovers and this is Tucker. Is Tucker on the clovers or is Tucker under the clovers? That's right, Tucker is on the clovers. He's laying on top of the clovers. If he was under the clovers, you wouldn't be able to see him. He'd be hiding. 
Now, let's look at this page together. So do you see Tucker there? There. It's my first time doing this book, so I'm trying to figure out how to get it into the screen, everybody. All right, so do you see Tucker right there? Where is Tucker? Is Tucker on the bed or is Tucker under the bed? What do you think? If you said he's on the bed, you're right. Tucker is on the bed. Now let's look at this page. This one right here. Let's see. I got it. Okay. This page right here. What is the weather like outside in this book? It's wet. It is not sunny. Is it snowing outside? No, it's not snowing. Is it windy outside? Nope, it's not windy. If it's wet outside and this water you can see is all falling from the sky, it's raining. So it is raining outside right now. Great job if you said raining. Now let's look at this page. Okay, so this page said that Lucky's favorite squeaky toy got stuck under the couch. Now see if you can point to the, the toy that is stuck under the couch. Is this the toy that's under the couch? No, that's on top of the couch. But this toy right here, that's the one under the couch. Can you tell me what that toy is? What is Lucky's favorite toy? It looks like it's an octopus. And can you tell me what color the couch is? That's right, the couch is blue. Great job, everybody. We're so proud of you. You're doing great. Let's see what's next. Oh, that's right. This animal hissed at Lucky. What kind of animal is this? It's a cat. Great job. Now see if you can make the sound a cat makes. What sound does a cat make? Let's make it all together. Ready? One, two, three. Meow, meow. Great job. Awesome work. I'm so proud of you. Oh, there's that picture of Lucky again. Do you remember what this green thing is called from St. Patrick's Day? That's right, it's called a shamrock or a four-leaf clover. Let's see what other pictures we can talk about. Let's see. Oh, this was one of my favorite parts. I want to be lucky if this ever happens to me. Now, what is the boy eating? So where's that boy? Right there. What is the boy eating or licking? That's right, ice cream. And can you remind me who is eating the ice cream? Is it a girl? No, it's not a girl. Is a boy eating the ice cream? That's right, the boy is eating the ice cream. So we can either say the boy is eating the ice cream or some of you might be working on he is eating the ice cream. Good job, everybody. So proud of you. Oh, this was a funny picture, too. Let's look at this picture. Who is Lucky playing with? That's right. Lucky is playing with his friends. What kind of animals are Lucky's friends? What kind of animal are Lucky's friends? That's right, they're dogs. What sound does a dog make? Woof, 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 woof. Good job, let me hear you do it. Let's hear you try, say woof, woof. Awesome, and let's do some counting with the dogs because there are a lot of dogs on this page, so count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dogs. 
Awesome job, everybody. Let's do a couple more. Oh, this one, I thought this one would be good. So we can talk a lot about this picture right here. So, who did Lucky see at the bakery? This here is called the Bone Street Bone, or I'm, let, let's say that again, sorry everybody. Bone Sweet Bone Bakery. Who did Lucky see or Tucker see at the bakery? That's right, he saw the baker. What is the baker wearing on his head? Good, he's wearing a hat on his head. What is the baker wearing on his feet? Point to what he's wearing on his feet. Let's see, I'm gonna get that right there for you. There you go. Okay, point to what the baker is wearing on his feet. Good job, everybody. He's wearing the shoes on his feet. Awesome work. And what is on the baker's apron? So the apron is this white thing he's wearing right here. What is on the baker's apron? Good work. Maybe some of your pets, you have dogs maybe, and some of your dogs eat that. You're right. The bone is on the baker's apron. Awesome work. So proud of you guys. Okay, let's see. Last one we're going to look at for today. Now this is a silly picture. Where is Tucker? Is Tucker under the box? No, he's not under the box. Is he next to the box? Nope, he's not next to the box. He's in the box. Silly Tucker, dogs aren't supposed to go inside the boxes, are they? Okay, and let's count how many toys are out of the box. Let's count. One, two, three, four, Five. Five things are out of the box. And can you remember what is the name of this green thing right here that is on the side of the box? What is that called? It's a shamrock. Or you might have even said clover. Good job. And just let me know again, where is the shamrock? Is the shamrock under the box? Or is the shamrock on the box? Right, the shamrock is on the box. Well, I loved reading Lucky Tucker with you. I think I might have been calling Tucker Lucky throughout my talking about the book afterwards. We call those book walks. So when you go through a book, you can always read the book with your moms and dads first. And then who says the story's over just because you're done reading the book? You can always then go through the book again with your moms and your dads and you can look at all of the pages and talk about all of the pictures. Parents, you can ask your kids questions about the books. You can talk about prepositions, locations, counting, coloring, boy and girl. It all depends on what your book is about. So I hope you enjoyed the book Lucky Tucker. Um, it is our St. Patrick's Day book. So happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.